The Reader by Tracy Chi is a New York Times best-selling fantasy that depicts the challenging lives of several individuals, captivating spellbound audiences since it was published in 2016. Sephia, a young girl whose parents were killed by an oppressive government, lives on the run with her elderly aunt Nin in possession of a dangerous object that her parents had stolen from the government, the book. In an illiterate world, only those with vast power, the government, have the ability to read. But when Aunt Nin is captured by government soldiers, Sephia turns to the book for answers. Slowly, she teaches herself to read, many of the book's contents including stories of a daring pirate named Captain Reed. Then one day, the soldiers return to the forest where Sephia is hiding, carrying a large crate emblazed with the same symbol on the book's cover. In hopes of finding her aunt, Sephia sneaks into the camp and opens the box, only to find a thin, scraggly, mute boy with a branding scar around his throat. Sephia rescues the boy from the soldier's clutches, calling him Archer for his amazing hunting abilities, and together they set off to find Nin and decipher the book. But when their travels land them on a ship belonging to none other than Captain Reed himself, Sephia realizes that the book chronicles the lives and events of the world around them, and that everyone is connected in a never-ending story. In Tracy Chee's The Reader, people take bold action to be remembered by others in an illiterate world and, in consequence, intertwine each other's life stories. Because the world in which the characters live is illiterate, all communication occurs orally. Therefore, the only way to be remembered is by taking courageous and bold action so that their legacy lives on long after their time. Many of the characters, such as the daring sea pirate Captain Reed, take life-risking actions because if they didn't keep telling your story after you died, you might as well never have lived at all. This philosophy reveals that Reed takes dangerous action so that others will tell his legacy, because if there is no one who remembers him, there is no evidence of his existence. This dread of non-existence motivates Reed to risk his life, such as jumping into a whirlpool and sailing to the edge of the world, which creates his fame among the people. To further establish his existence and identity, Reed records all of his life's adventures in the form of tattoos. He tried all manner of things to convince himself that his life had some meaning, some permanence. Reed uses his skin as a canvas of permanent pictures as a me method of proving his deeds and existence to himself and others, but he knows, when he dies, nothing would be left of him but the whispering legends of what he had done. Therefore, that is why he takes such risky actions, so that others will remember him after his time passes. Although Reed has secured his legacy with his risky actions, he falters when faced with the question, who's going to remember your crew? In this instant, he realizes that even though he and his crew defied death in their ventures together, he is the only one given credit in the legends, and therefore the only one going to be remembered. From this moment, Reed vows to cherish his relationship with his crew and do everything within his power to preserve their legacy as well, such as actively incorporating them into his stories as he shares them with others. Reed's actions serve as a reminder that in an illiterate world, nothing and no one is safe from the ignorance of time, and that is the reason many choose to take bold action, so that their legacy might live on and they will not be forgotten. Furthermore, hidden within the pages is a message that reveals the meaning behind the mysterious book in Sephia's possession, and the character's motivation to risk everything in order to preserve their legacy in society. This is a book, and a book is a world, and words are the seeds in which meanings are curled. Pages of oceans and margins of land are civilizations you hold in the palm of your hand. But look at your world, and your life seems to shrink, to cities of paper and seas made of ink. Do you know who you are, or have you been misled? Are you the reader, or are you the read? This poem depicts the character's internal struggle to identify themselves among the society in which they live, causing them to actively make the choice of either living an average lifestyle or to go on daring adventures and to take incredible risks, as shown by the last line of the poem, Are you the reader, or are you the read? However, the poem also reveals the purpose of Sephia's coveted book, in the illiterate world where Sephia lives, only those who are among the elite members of the government have the ability to read, such as the librarian, the guardian of the book. 
The book is treasured over all else due to its mysterious contents, which chronicle the events and lives of the risk-taking legacy seekers in past, present, and future. This is referred to in the line, pages of oceans and margins of land are civilizations you hold in the palm of your hand. In addition, the poem ultimately shows that the all-encompassing book is the one stable and infinite thing in the world. For even though legends of the action-seeking characters may live on after their deaths, their stories are only truly preserved in the language within the book, shown by the line, but look at your world and your life seems to shrink, to cities of paper and seas made of ink. In all, the book is dangerous yet revered, as it contains secrets of all periods of time, and permanently records the lives of the characters who took great action to create their legacy among others. Because many of the characters have a desire to be remembered and take daring action, they, in consequence, intertwine their lives with that of other action seekers. While Sephia and Archer were on the run from government soldiers, they read the legends of Captain Reed in the book. Then one day, a narrow escape from an encounter with the soldiers results in the pair taking refuge on the hold of a ship docked nearby. They soon come to realize that the ship they stowed away on is the famed Current of Faith, and its captain is none other than Reed himself. In surprise, Sephia says, This is really the current of faith, isn't it? You and Doc, everyone, you're all really here? In this moment, she realizes that everything in the book is a true occurrence and that everyone's lives are interconnected by their actions. Because Sephia and Archer, along with Reed and his crew, take action outside of a normal lifestyle, they cross paths with many other people, including each other. Shortly after meeting Captain Reed and his crew, Sephia comes across a passage in the book about the day she saw her parents murdered by the government. There on the page and there in her memory, seeing it twice, seeing it all over again. This disturbing event further signifies to Sephia that her life is connected to others as represented by the intertwining of her story to the stories of Reed and society in general within the book. While contemplating the meaning of her discoveries and why the government went great lengths in effort to retrieve the book from Sephia's possession, she concludes, We are all in the book. That must be why they want it so badly. The people who did this, I think the book contains everything that has happened or will happen. All of history. All knowledge. Everything. Everyone's lives are connected by the actions they take because everything they do influences others. For example, like when Sephia and Archer stow away on Captain Reed's ship, it was due to their daring actions that they became a part of others' lives and, in consequence, part of the book as well, intertwining their history with that of society. In conclusion, the illiterate world in which they live causes many characters to take bold action in order to preserve their legacy within their society, such as Captain Reed's adventures and Sephia and Archer's escape from the soldiers, and in result, their actions intertwine with that of others. Whether they take action to create their legacy and establish a self-identity, or to merely survive, all of their decisions have a rippling effect upon their society, mixing the people's individual life stories into a great saga of the world, proven by the mysterious and powerful book. In all, through their own desires not to be forgotten, the characters in, the reader, and those around them intertwine their lives with each other's by every decision they make, as they face the choice to be the reader or be the read.